Here we go. Your full weather is brought to you by Varney Ford, the nice car and truck people. And these are the advisories posted through tonight and throughout the day tomorrow. A wind advisory, high wind warning, just like the last system that came through. This one will not be quite as windy, but still, we could see some wind gusts tomorrow near 50 miles per hour with potentially heavy rainfall throughout the afternoon. Most of tomorrow morning is going to be dry. The rain will hold off until midday or so. It's going to get windy, though, so the wind is shifting out there now out of the southeast pretty much all day today. It's going to kind of move out of the southwest tomorrow morning, and it's going to get gusty too uh, out ahead of that cold front and also push temperatures up into the low 50s tomorrow. I know, it's weird, right? So today here in Bangor, 37, 33 from Illinois, kind of a cool day, uh, but still warmer temperatures are on the way. They arrive for us tomorrow uh, and then probably again early next week. Looking outside today, we had lots of sunshine early, but we've been clouding over kind of ever since. We'll call it mostly cloudy out there currently. And then off to the west of us, there's a lot going on here. Uh, there's several areas of energy, one there, one over here, one to our south. They'll combine over us again, create Lots of wind in the atmosphere. It's all charged up and bring us some locally heavy rainfall tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. Let's walk you through. So we have increasing clouds out there tonight. Here's about 2:30 or so. Looking at mostly cloudy skies. No rain until later on tomorrow. Here's 10:30. Still not really raining yet, right? The rain off to the west of us. That's going to come through about midday tomorrow, and you'll know when it does. We'll keep those rain showers going into tomorrow night, and then it'll end pretty quickly though before midnight tomorrow night. We'll shift those winds out of the north west again, bring in some cooler temperatures, maybe a couple flurries late tomorrow night, and then kind of windy and blustery throughout the day on Sunday, but dry before our next weather system gets in here early next week. We'll already have increasing clouds on that later on Sunday evening. Okay, so rainfall looks something like this. So probably a half inch of rainfall is on the way, but a couple of you could easily do an inch with this system again. We're getting used to them, right? Uh, into probably between midday, noonish tomorrow, into about this time tomorrow night. All right, so snowfall is just not going to happen. The atmosphere is too warm. If you want that, you got to go well north and west of the Millinocket area, but even that's going to be nothing this time around and probably nothing next time too, as we just have warm conditions on the way for us, right? Our forecast ends tonight, though, is lots of clouds out there, rising temperatures. Uh, lows are kind of hitting right now. They'll rise overnight tonight with that south wind around 10 to 15. For tomorrow, okay, 53. Here we go. Rain and wind through the afternoon. The morning looks dry with a south wind that could gust near 40. 45 later in the day. And then looking ahead, your five day forecast includes 53 for us tomorrow. Sunday, much colder, 34. Monday, back up in the 40s. We could do 50 again on Tuesday and then back in the 50s on Wednesday. A little wet system in here again between Tuesday into Wednesday. Beth.